I have some of Navi here at the after party. Thank you for stepping out. It's a bit loud in there. That's why I haven't got everybody. We'll let them carry on drinking, I guess. Um, champions. Yes. Hasn't sunk in yet. No, no. It won't for a bit, I should think. It's, but it feels good right now. A few days. A few days. A few days. A few days. Definitely a few days. A lot of people, I think, are going to be wondering, well, who are these guys? In the same way that we felt maybe about Empire uh, six months ago back in Milan. But I think people saw... Honestly, I think more people saw Empire coming. Um, I think... Truthfully, for you guys, this may be a little bit more of an unknown quantity for, for a wider section of audience, which I want to show you. My, U, my UK boys! I, I can't help but be excited that the UK's actually won something. You have no idea. This makes a lot of difference for me, traveling around the world going, yes, we can win stuff. Um, let's start. Let's start. Let's start. When, when, when did this all begin for you? Let's, let's go way back. It, it began last year in September, when uh, we basically we basically gathered one day before the qualifiers, and Prem qualifies and we qualify for Prem. So that's the UK Premiership. Yes. That's like our grassroots kind of thing, online, you know, it's qualifiers like, it's and stuff. Like it's like beginning if you want to get somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, is, it is built. DSL UK put this together. The guys I know they worked so hard on this across a couple of games to give people that first step on the ladder. Look at the ladder we've had. So yeah, so yeah, Prem. Trying to yeah. get inside. So that's you and what? Some mates. So basically, me and. It was, it was, no, no, it was Prox, me, Prox, Soul Seeker, Prow, and yeah. Unknown Hobbit. Demo. Oh, it was Demo. Yeah, and Demo. Of, yes, Demo. Of, Demo is a had you mentioned yeah. Demo. <laughs> it's for a reason. <laughs> oh, sorry, Demo, and we qualified for Prem. And we didn't expect a lot. We just qualified for UK League, yeah. and we managed to get picked up by Eminem. Which gave us a lot of the support. Yeah, they're a really good org in the UK. They've been around for a while. They've had champions in uh, um, Overwatch. I think they won the Overwatch uh, Prem that we I did. That was like one as well. League and yeah. Arsenal as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, good org to join. A really yes. solid org to join. Yes. So they gave us support, and uh, we said, you know, we want to go to Dreamtech. You want shopping in Sweden? Oh, yeah. They provide us with that as well, which was like first big experience because you're you're playing these pro league teams on stage like empire and monkey but you have zero experience on the stage or against pro league teams yeah, yeah. so it's like it's real it really helped us like to see what we want and how do, how do we need to work or like how hard we need to work together remind us how that went for you uh, what and remind us how that dream hack went for you uh, we lost <laughs> we, we basically it wasn't that bad though, it wasn't that bad we lost like seven Seven five seven four. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then, yeah, and then eight six and seven four to Monkey Daddy, something like that. That's really respectable. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, more than respectable. We lost Bonkers. He left when one week before the field playoffs. Yeah, so, yeah. He was in the top spot. No. So, so we have point. we have yeah we have one week. Yeah, to, it was an epic to, one week. Yeah, we have one week to prep for field playoffs, which means basically everything if you if you want to get anywhere. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we need to win. We need to we need to qualify for CL. Yeah. And then Bonkers eventually got picked up by Secret, and I was like literally on the last limb. Because we tried Feral as well. Yes, we yes, of course, Feral, yeah, it was yeah, kicking we on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feral, but the and then, made them laugh. Yeah, and then Feral, Feral was like, uh, oh, Feral, Feral was like, I don't want to play with you guys, pretty much. This has turned into the biggest example of UK drama <laughs> I never <laughs> intended. And then, and then I was like, on the limb that Tokyo was worrying, I was like, you know what, we could just try saves. I messaged Save on WhatsApp, he was like, yeah, sure. Then, Did you play with him before? Yeah, yeah. 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 He was like, just chances, was, isn't it? It's just little bits. He wasn't even happens. playing Siege. He had to reinstall Siege again. <laughs> yeah, to, to play. So you thought, well, let's no, try to do well in Challenge League. So we got into CL and we were like, okay, but we aim for top two. But it's not bad to stay in CL because you're get like you're gathering experience, yeah. which will help you later, like sooner or later you will get the pro. So your aspirations were pro. Your aspirations yeah. were we're here to stay. We're here to go to the top, right? The aspirations aren't for a league in Challenger League if you're doing it wrong. If you're, if, if you're playing to stay in Challenger League, then what's the point of staying? I mean, you're not you're playing, huh? but you, you, want, you, you, don't want to, you don't want to drop out there. Because if you drop out, it's I mean, really hard to, to go you back. You don't want to drop out, but if you're playing to stay, then it's kind of... It's, like, that... it's like us with Pro League. It's like when I was saying that we shouldn't aim to stay. Well, our first goal should be to stay in Pro League. But our main goal should be to get to Japan. Yeah, I mean, it's right. Okay. Like, like, should even, if, even though it's top. even though it's our first season in Pro League, uh, we shouldn't yeah. play to stay. You know. Yeah. So you're still M and M. 
on you. So yeah, you're around, and then you make top two in Challenger League. You beat our Vitality. You're in Pro League. That's yeah. when Navi got you, wasn't it? Yes. Or was it, it was a literally like later? three days after we got to Pro League. Yeah. 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 We, wasn't even, we wasn't even in contact with Harvey. Like They just messaged us and were like, I think I'd be interested in joining. We got the sort early yeah. with M&M and um, they let us. They let us go as well, so they were really like cooperative. Yeah. So they were really, they were really good about the whole situation. Yeah. Yes. He told me, um, he, he told me at the, uh, the Prem Finals recently, he just wanted to see you do well. Yes. Like, yes. and that's awesome. That's, that's I've met owners of orgs who come, like they, they're great at finding talent. So they get talent, they work them up, they turn, like they get in a better player and then they just lose them to other teams. And there are some org owners I know who have given up because they said like, I can't make a business like this. I'm not here to make players and sell them. If you wanted to, I'm not going to go into the whole details no, 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 no. much, yeah. but like, if you wanted to, you could have sold us for a lot more. Yeah. A lot more. Mm-hmm. Especially yeah. considering it was Navi that was buying us. We also rented out PCs for me and Kenny. Yeah, we had toasters for PCs. I'll bring out the piss. I'll be also on the set. Right. Oh, okay. So we get uh, we get Navi picking you up, and then we get a pro league season. And, oh, come yeah. and your aspirations when were you were staying pro league, of course, but that's not our aim. Our aim is to go in. It was like it was like main goal. Main goal of Japan sub goal was to stay in pro league. Yeah. So you weren't aiming to win Japan, but just like I mean, that's already a lofty aspiration. You've had one season of Challenger League. You've won spring and summer Premiership, but only recently the summer one. Uh, you didn't win the Winter Premiership in like, a few months ago, yeah. end of last year. So, okay, one spring, getting lined up for Summer Premiership. Um, the young one that year. So, think, are we going to be top two and go to massive Pro League Finals, 4,000 fans in Japan? That's pretty ballsy. That's a, that is a lot to you know, bring. We take it one step at a time. You know, we can be, yeah, we, we want to see. With Primates, I think we are pretty just set state, you know. Yeah. Because uh, in CL, just before we got Pro League, like, we were focused on winning Prem, and then in CL, to obviously, like, show how good we are. And then, obviously, after that, we we are focused on getting to Japan and saying, you know, once we got Japan, we focus on winning Japan more than anything. Yeah. We're just, I think we're just prioritizing that. Now, next step is ESL Prem. We have a uh, line in, like, two yeah. weeks. No, yes, so we, yeah. we need to win that as well. One week, 21st. No, it's two weeks. Oh, the two, two weeks. Yeah, because I can't host it. Sorry, everybody wanted me to be at a Prem on my way in Estonia in two weeks. Um, that's something else. Uh, never been there, looking forward to that. Um, but thank you, ESL UK, for asking me. You know, I'll always come and do it if I can. Uh, so I guess somebody else will give you a win your Prem That's all I hope for, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the thing now, isn't it? I mean, there's pressure on that now. You're pro league champions. I mean, we did. If you don't lose. win the Prem. That's a huge title for someone else to scalp you. No, we did lose the other week. For the first time in like three seasons. And that's the, that's, M&M. that's the thing. That's to Eminem of all teams, yeah. of all names, right? It's, it's yeah. absolutely true. It's, it's, more, it's more like teams are wanting to beat us more than yeah. 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 I don't, I don't see I don't see like, if, like, I don't see us losing because of something scary to them. But I don't think we will lose, but I, I just think that mentality, if like... Yeah, the mentality is right. We'll, yeah, you're very confident, you guys, but you you do it in a in a nice way. You do it in a we believe we're good, and I think and you think you've shown that you're good, and I mean you won the pro league, so it's come through. I love it when people are confident, but you you didn't even do it as well as talk it. And you know, what? I cannot believe when I asked you on stage, did you realise you were going to get the record? And you said yes. I was absolutely sure you would say. No, I was just playing that game with my team to win, or uh-huh. I didn't uh, realize until one of my teammates no, told me. I, was, I, mean, I can't believe you knew it was, you were on it. I said half, didn't I? I yeah, said, literally I said, said I'm, I'm gonna break the record. So. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he was he was literally killing everyone. So yeah. he, he was like, he was like, <laughs> he was like he literally the rest of us sucked. Uh, I had like the worst game of my life, probably. Um, but he was killing everyone. He was like, boys, we are not losing. We're gonna, I'm gonna break the kill record. Just confidence. So what happens between that and the next map? Because we, I, as I mentioned on stage and we highlighted a bit, you go and break the kill record in a map, you guys lose. Okay, so you're saying it's because everybody else wasn't stepping up. So what did you do to step up after that? My, my mentality going into the second map was awful. I was like, because I pretty much see that they lost us again. I didn't trust a call from him. They diffused. It was a 2v4 when they just diffused. 
Like I trusted my, my sounding game more than him. I lost this around, which probably would have won us the map if I listened. And then after that, I think I think I could still around. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, we'll pop something in 7 1. Yeah. 7 1 to Mandela. It's completely yeah. different mentality. I was, I was asking them, like, so why, 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 why are we scared of the book? Because literally, this was only that. We were so scared that we would lose. And on, on the first match, that we actually lost. And we shouldn't be scared of losing. Yeah. We won. Yeah. You, you presume you're not scared of losing. You don't. I'm just going to keep racking them up. And try my best. And, and like, so. And after that match, we played the second match. We got seven one on Villa, and then we came the third man, and we six two up, and the mentality totally like swapped. We were having fun. Yeah. We were feeling yeah. yeah. That's when the clap in the crowd came. Yeah, yeah. That's when we were kind of it's enjoying, fun. Yeah. enjoying the moment. Yeah. Yeah. And you were feeling better, too. Oh, you were better. Yeah. Yeah. He managed to snap out as well, which I'm really proud of him. And uh, we basically oh, yeah. that, no, the game. Yeah. 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 And enjoy it. And, enjoy it. and then after that game, when we had the finals to play, we literally didn't care. Yeah, we was literally just laughing. We was laughing. I fun. wouldn't say we didn't care. Oh, yeah. I'd say we were just having so much yeah, fun we with didn't care. We, were, we, wasn't too, we wasn't thinking about losing. Yeah. We were just thinking about, like, we just made it this far, top two. We're enjoying the moment. You know, the crowd are absolutely loving us. Yeah, you've got them. Cheering yeah. them up. Yeah. yeah. It's because we had no prep time either. Because, like I said, playing nights of prep time wasn't that was much. literally the point. It was literally like, you know what, let's, let's just enjoy playing. Let's just focus on playing ourselves, enjoy playing. Have fun doing it, but at the same time, I take it seriously. But I mean, like I said on the stage, uh, it's when we have fun, we play the best. When we're laughing, when we're joking, when we're hyping up the crowd, when we're much, like egging them on and stuff like that. That's uh, that's when we play the best. We're just having fun. I get the half hour time because you play semi final number two, so you have less time than semi final number one winners. But it does beg the question did you do any prep for this event at all? Because Surely Guard Zero were on your radar as a possible threat. You know, the bracket is lined up. You know, they're a pretty good set to meet you. And yeah. that land is absolutely really. I saw wild cards. We wanted to prep. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, don't you, like, some teams do prep for the two possibilities they're going to meet. To be honest, that is really interesting. They're like a geeky team. Like, they, are, they are, like, stretching everything. And they live in a team house. We actually said that mid game. It was like, like, little, it was like these guys. They're doing like they're such a nerdy play style. Because details, uh, the like, detail that they put into their. It's a, it's a good thing. It is a good like, thing. Like, we just called it nerdy That's in the game. It's like they're thrown to like pinpoint. Like you can just tell that they put so much effort into yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like. Um, and then when, it, when they need to play something like what we did in the finals, yeah. they just don't know what to do. Yeah, you saw how we were playing. Like the last round, like I was literally like, we could just rush in and plant. We rushed in and plant, and we won the round. So if we don't know what they're doing, how they? Yeah, exactly. It's pretty much like how can you count the stress? If we don't know what we're doing, how do they know what we're doing? That that actually sums it up really well. Pretty much, that's that's exactly how we play. Pretty much, it's just completely completely random. We. Like he likes to call it adaptive, like an adaptive play style. We react to how they're playing. Yeah. Call it adaptive. Some people <laughs> would call it like uh, Egypt, Canadian, for example, has been praised many times for how good he was at counter stratting on the fly. Yeah? yeah. You play around against them with something that they've not used to dealing with, he'll figure it out, and yeah. you, you'll get a response. So that is a that is a quality you need as a competitor, be able to react as a team. But other people might call it reckless. Yeah. Like you could have sat down. Did you vod review? Nah, Did we you both, press uh, We both reviewed Wildcard, yeah. MIP, and Wreck. Yeah. Okay. On, our side, on our side of the bracket. Uh, Fair we we yeah. more more Wreck because of the visa issues with MIP. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of Wildcard, obviously. We expected we expected we expected Arrowwolf to beat DZ, but we also expected uh, we also expected Giants to beat yeah, to beat us in the final. I, a lot of people so say when, Giants might take this. So when they come out first, so it upsets the whole. We had, we had like yeah. prior prep to Giants, so we didn't really need to do as much. Okay. Um, but no, we didn't do anything with Dark Zero, did we? Nothing at all. I think there was like map beaters, like, like statistics, yeah, yeah. Stuff, stuff like basic down. stuff. But apart from that, it was not 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 really much. I mean, taking them to Villa was to be honest a shock for many people. I mean, I, I, I honestly think we won it in the map bands. Because when we were doing the map bands, I was we, we, we when we picked onto it, I was, I was there with people and, and faces just dropped. But they, they, have no, they, they thought they thought we were going to pick yeah, cafe. No, no, they thought we were going to pick. Yeah, actually, yeah. So we we picked coastline, band cafe, and they, they sat there and thought like they're going to try and put us into coastline because we seven one wildcard yesterday. 
obviously they've done that panic from kind of just like picked up our, our best, best maps at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We I mean, saw it as well, Germany Analysts. We were like, what? It's like a, what if they banned that forever, you know? Yeah. Well, we have new Pro League champions. That's a little taste about how these guys have come together and, uh, and how it's all worked out this weekend. It's been absolutely phenomenal. And I know it means a lot to so many people back in the UK. We'll go back and enjoy the after party now. Um, thanks for watching all the videos and all the content this weekend. I hope you enjoyed all the games. A lot of us think this is probably the best set of games we've ever had across a weekend of Pro League or other tournaments as well. Now it's all part of performances from new teams to you know these stages. Um, loads of people here have stepped up. Great to see APAC region doing so well. Looking forward to seeing LATAM come at us in future the way we know they can. We know it's been yeah. tough. We know it's been tough. It's one thing I wanted to say is APAC has slept on the amount of people that say yeah. like, like we struggle against wild cards. It's like, why isn't on yeah. wild card are playing it's good? So it's like, yeah. Giants should have beaten. It's like, no, they are all clearly beaten. Yeah. Like, I mean, we screamed fair, their, we screamed like, their, we screamed their award for this year and they're a really good team. Yeah. They are, absolutely. Like, it's so, it's uh, so disrespectful in my opinion to say like, oh, wild card are bad, now we just we, played bad. It's the same, like, it's no, the same, it's the same with G2 when we played in Pro League. Uh, yeah. people, we, we, when we reverse the team 5-1, people are more focused on G2 being the better team saying they grew. And it's like, they won five rounds in a row, so why can't we win that yeah. before? I think uh, two years ago, let's say two years ago, Apex did. Yes, they were like a lot weaker, but like time, like things are changing. G2 is not, G2 is not on Prolic finals anymore. Empire is totally Prolic yeah. Everything is changing, like competition is so much bigger than before. Yeah. Apex is also like bigger. Fanatic is not here. Northern Anger is not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who is it? Cyclops is not here. Yeah. Like, People are just grinding. And, it is, it and, is and, time for this to end. It is yeah, time for people's kind of why are APAC around? Uh, you know, we can, that's done, that's done yeah. as of now, right? Yeah, that maybe, should be over as of now. Maybe yes, you've seen Renegade and so on. Hundred fifty now. They just, yeah. I mean, this, they just saw I mean, they just play second at IEM Beijing. They lost to Australia. Yeah. You don't see no one saying, oh, they're APAC, right? They just got like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, if this APAC thing has been going on since they joined, but LATAM had a struggle with it when they first appeared, you know, when they first got involved as a region. I've seen it all. I've been through all of it. And I remember when, you know, a spot was given to APAC and people were complaining about, oh, they shouldn't have it. Well, we're done with that, all right? That has to end. Fnatic have been playing so well. Norang have been playing so well. And they're not even here, like you say. The other teams are. Yeah. And yeah, it's been incredible performances from them. If this weekend doesn't put that to bed, I don't know what will. Yeah. It is long overdue that we just accept we have great siege players all over the world. It's one of the reasons I went down and did the Six Masters, because they wanted me to help showcase what they can do. And I have championed APAC since day one of APAC. Yeah. We have it. We have it across the world. We have incredible players, but we have a UK set of champions. I'll show you guys. Congratulations. Thank Thank you. You. Very proud of you. I know many people are. I know you guys are. I know, yeah. I know how chuffed you are with all the belief you've got. What do they do next? Uh, Last time, team won a pro league like in a journey like this. Like I said, that was Empire. Three months later, they've knocked out G2, uh, not knockout, they beat G2 and were major champions. We got an invitation in three months. All these teams are going to be there. Make sure you are. And in the meantime, keep following me, please, on Matt Andrews TV on all social media. And I'm ESL underscore Matt Andrews TV on Twitch. There's a lot of fun coming to that soon. So I'd love you to follow and join in with that when I get live, when I get home. And uh, Matt Andrews TV for some more vlogs that I haven't yet uploaded from this. But again, well done, boys. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.